السلام عليكم ورحمة الله This is Hani Ismail from Planning Engineer website uh, Today question is very uh, nice and actually we might uh, face this scenario in our projects The question is Ya Hani My baseline is not yet approved and there are some delays happen to the project because of the client Can I submit an extension of time without approved baseline okay so in order to answer this question i would like to start from the beginning first of all why your baseline is not approved before answering the question of how we can submit an extension of time without approved baseline i would like to stress on the point that the first thing you need to do and you need to focus on it is to get your baseline approved as soon as possible. So, Ty, yeah, honey, I can't get my baseline approved. I have a problem with the client. Uh, I don't know how to get my baseline approved. So, let me quickly go through this uh, topic and tell you what you need to do to get your baseline approved. First of all, you need to know how to do the baseline, okay? So you need to study the project very well, okay? And then you need to sit with the project team, ask them about the overall strategy, how we can execute the project, whether we are going to divide it into zones, into areas, uh, how we are going to deal with different activities and then you will have some kind of WBS work breakdown structure and this is the most likely will happen in your project now you need to take this WBS and go to your client or your consultant Mr. Client or Mr. Consultant this is how I'm planning to do my schedule in terms of WBS do you have any issues with this one? then you get maybe a verbal or a written approval sometimes the client will ask you to submit the WBS first before submitting the baseline but the point is you need to communicate with the project stakeholders so you as a planning engineer you have your project team and you have your client you need to get both in the same picture sometimes the project manager will insist on something the client don't approve or don't like. Try to find a middle solution. So the best scenario in your extension of time to get your baseline approved. After you have uh, uh, approved WBS, then you can go further and do your uh, schedule. Okay. The second thing you need to consider. Okay, you have now an idea about what is required to do the job. You need to be very fast. Like, yeah, honey, I have too many activities. I have to do cost loading, resource loading. You need to be very fast. Like, honey, the project is a mega project and I have uh, uh, too many activities, too many requirements for the uh, schedule. You need to be very fast. Okay, honey, how to be very fast? Use the recent technology. We have something called Power Queries. You can use to create your schedule. We have import and export. We have macros. We have too many techniques that will help you to be very fast and very accurate in your work. Okay. Yeah, honey. The, the video of this or the topic of this video, I don't, I know what happened is happened. I don't have approved baseline. What I will do? If I'm in your place, the first thing I will do, I will go to my client. Mr. Client, we have some uh, problems in our schedule. We have some potential delays. Can we work out and approve our baseline? By the way, your situation will be weak because the client might think, oh, now you know that there is a variation order that's coming or there are some uh, suspension period or whatever, so you will design your baseline to show the maximum delays and don't blame anyone blame yourself only on this one because you don't have your baseline approved at the first place so the first thing you need to do or the best 
scenario is to go to your uh, uh, client or uh, consultant, try to get your baseline approved. Okay, let's say that you couldn't succeed with this one. Your project manager or your team is asking you to submit for us an extension of time as soon as possible with whatever documents you have. So let's say you submitted version 2, version 3 of your baseline, which is not yet approved, or maybe the consultant or the client didn't reply back. So you submitted the uh, baseline, but you didn't get an answer yet. So that in that case, you can base your extension of time on this version. The client might reply that your baseline is not yet approved, so you cannot submit an extension of time. Then you have a stronger position to have some pressure on your client to get your baseline approved. So in order to summarize what we talked about, the best scenario is to have your baseline approved so you are now in the safe side, you can submit whatever extension of time you want, and you have a very solid base to work on it. Okay, we couldn't get our baseline approved. Try to get it approved before you submit your baseline. If you couldn't do this step, then you have no choice but to submit the extension of time claim based on the latest version you are submitting. And by the way, if you are reporting or you are sending reports based on some baseline, let's say you are sending updates, weekly update uh, based on some baseline, you can use it because you can later on argue that, okay, I'm using this version of the baseline since two, three, four reports. So this is what is going, hap what is going to happen in the project and you can use this version. Then the client might come back and tell you, oh, but this is not approved. Tell him or her, okay, let's fix it. What is your comments? Let's make it final and get it approved. So extension of time will be perfect if your baseline is approved without any major comments. If you have an extension of time or a potential delays and yet your baseline is not approved, try as soon as possible to make it approved or to get the approval. If you cannot do this one because you send, maybe you send your baseline for approval and you didn't get a reply yet, then you can use whatever baseline you are using for the reports and base the extension of time for it. And let's agree that this extension of time most likely will not be approved, but you are opening the channel for discussion. You need to tell that I have a problem. You need to get my baseline approved. And there are too many tips and the tricks to get your baseline up, uh, approved as fast as you can by using the available technology, like using the lookup formulas in Excel to facilitate uh, uh, activity ID, cost loading, resource loading. We have also some macros, very, very good macros. Macros is uh, uh, repeated steps in the Excel. If you don't know about these things, try to find out how you can make your schedule. Uh, uh, creation is easy and fun, by the way. It is not only to have your schedule easy, but also you need to enjoy what you are doing. You do it a smart way, not the hard way. Also, the Power Query is very uh, useful. When it is combined with the pivot tables, it is doing a great job. So, I hope you find this lesson useful to you. If you have any questions, you are welcome to ask me. If you would like to get an idea about how to make your schedule faster and smarter, you are welcome to check my courses in the link below. See you in the next video.